morning dear students welcome back to science online class i hope you all are absolutely fine and doing well at your home dear students in last class what we have learned we have learned so many birds name is it so dear students where you can see the bird whether they can fly or whether they walk so let's learn all these things in today's chapter okay so we are going to start our birds concept okay dear students so are you ready to learn new things okay so you can see here a beautiful bird is there yes so how many colors are there of this birds yellow purple green red and with this the bird having a beautiful beak is it beautiful beak you can see here we have a mouth but bird have a beak okay they don't have mouth in the place of mouth they have a beak okay so let's learn what we are going to learn in this chapter we can see birds flying in the sky yes we can see birds fly in the sky they are feathered animals that live on the trees so dear students where they are living birds are living on the trees they can walk hop run and fly so all those things the different uh, uh, animals are doing same things they are doing they also can walk they also can run they also can fly but uh, different animals like a tiger lion or human being itself they are not flying okay but birds they have a special capability to fly in the sky because they have a very light weight okay birds have a different body types and features yes so dear students in our surrounding so many birds are there already we have learned those names so we are going to learn about their types of food okay which type of foods they are eating and some of the birds also they are eating the parts of a plant such as a seeds grains and the fruits while others eat flushes flushes means meat they are eating the meat of the different animals okay so different birds have a different features they have a different have uh, habits of having the food okay so dear students we are going to learn one by one the birds concept but before going to learn just mark the body part of the bird so this mouth of the bird is called as a beak okay what you call what you are going to call it it is a beak it is a beak and this legs we are not calling as a leg it is a claws c l a w s yes. so animal having the legs but birds having only claws okay so you can see here 1 2 3 it is very sharp so this is nothing but the claws okay so let's learn some another types of bird so here the first bird we are going to learn here about the eagle what is the spelling of eagle that is the e a g l e eagle so they have a very strong sharp and hooked hooked means you can see here how you can stretch the hook so in similar way they have a hook type of structure of their beak so birds are toothless animals dear students they don't have a tooth they have a beaks to eat their food so for uh, eating the food they have a beaks they have a beaks very sharp strong hook type they have a beak so with the help of this beaks they can eat the food okay because they don't have a teeth it means they you can say they have a toothless animals so the shape of the birds beak is suited to the type of food it eats so dear student different birds have a different types of uh, beak okay so we are going to learn here so eagle is a flesh eating birds dear students flesh eating animals means for flesh eating birds means they are uh, eating only the meat of another animals they are known as a birds of prey they have a strong sharp and hooked beak to help them tear the flesh of animals so dear students it is a very sharp beak so
so with the help of this beak this eagle can tear the flesh of animals okay so with the help of this uh, sharp beak they can eat the flesh of another animals in similar way the next is the vulture what is the spelling of vulture that is the v u l t u r e vulture is a flesh eating birds they are known as a birds of prey okay again they are known as a birds of prey they again the vulture is also eating the meat of another animals they have a strong sharp and hooked beaks to help them tear the flesh of animals so you can see here how the eagle having the same structure vulture is also having the same beak means it is a very strong sharp and hook type structure okay so this is the second bird that they have a very strong sharp and hook type structure the third bird we are going to learn here about the hawk what is the spelling of hawk h a w k hawk hawk is also a flesh eating bird they are known as a birds of prey so they have a strong sharp and hooked breaks to help them tear the flesh of animals so with the help of their beak hawk can tear the flesh of animals so with the help of this beak they can have their food so dear students here we got to know that some of the birds they are eating the flesh of the animals so they have a which type of beak they have a strong sharp and hook type beak they have okay so let's learn about the next concept about the strong short and hard beak so dear students the some of the birds they have very short okay short and hard okay short is there but all with this they have a very hard beak so what is the example that is the pigeon p i g e o n pigeon okay so what they are eating they are eating the grains and the seeds so dear students they are eating the parts of a plant so which type of parts of plant they are eating they are eating the grains and the seeds they have a strong hard beaks to crack open the grains and the seeds so just because of they have a short and hard beak so that's why they can open the grains and the seeds so with the help of their beak they can open the grain suppose they want to eat bajra jowar rice so with the help of their strong beak they can open the grains and they can eat it eat the seeds is it similar way the next is sparrow do you stu dear students have you seen the sparrow by your surrounding itself you can observe the sparrow so sparrow is also the eat grains and the seeds so what they are eating they are eating the grains they are eating the seeds so they have a very strong and hard beaks which type of beaks they have they have a very hard and strong beaks beaks okay so with the help of this beak they can open the crack of the grains and they can enjoy their food so in this way what happen the birds having the different different kinds of the beak is it so dear students in today's class we have learned about the two types of the beak okay what are those two types of the beak that is first one strong sharp and hooked okay strong sharp and hooked type beak what are the example of such type of beaks that is eagle so with the help of the strong sharp and hook like structure of the beak they can tear the flesh of animals in this way they can enjoy their food so first example is eagle yes next example about the strong sharp and hook type structure that is a vulture okay what is the spelling of vulture so with this vulture okay so vulture is the v u l t u r e vulture next is the hawk what is the spelling of hawk that is the h a w k hawk okay the next spelling is pigeon p e g e o n which type of beak they have strong short and hard beak 
नेक्स्ट इज द स्पैरो वॉट इज द स्पेलिंग ऑफ स्पैरो यस पी ए डब्लू डबल आर ओ डब्ल्यू स्पैरो सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस बर्ड्स नेम यू हैव टू बी रिमेंबर एंड यू मस्ट टू नो विच टाइप बीक दे हैव सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स मीट इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास विद द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ बीक्स सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स गो थ्रू द ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड वॉट एवर स्पेलिंग्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हियर जस्ट प्रैक्टिस इट डाउन ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स मीट इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास हैव अ गुड डे बाय बाय